The way I operate is I'm really, really in the shoes. I really love shoes. Opportunity approached itself to where I could basically have a storefront. So then I said, okay, that's cool. I could do that. But as far as like developing the plan and, you know, learning the business and stuff like that, this is just in me. This is in me. This is it. You know, I've been doing this. I'm, tw I'm 31 years old. I've been doing this, no lie, 20 years. Since I was 11 years old, I've been going to get shoes myself. Going, beating feet, hustling the streets of New York, trying to do whatever I got to do to get the next J. Once I got the keys, it was just time to do it. So there wasn't me sitting down, devising a plan, anything like that. It was just, it came natural. People could believe it or not, but I really didn't have a plan. It was just, <laughs> you done seen this, you done lived this your whole life. Now it's time to show people what all of that extra stuff you've been doing was for. The best thing about having my own store is that I guess I don't have to uh, accumulate so many shoes personally anymore. You know, before it was just always about your collection, but now since I have my own store, it really doesn't matter what shoes I have. I mean, to me it does. But, you know, to the average person, they're like, well, it doesn't matter what kind of sneakerhead you are because you have a store. I mean, that's the coolest thing people ever heard. I can't really speak for any other store in San Antonio because that's not right of me to do, you know. But I will tell you that I could put my knowledge on shoes up on anybody out here. I don't care. It might sound cocky, whatever like that. Any of the store owners, anything like that. I know more knowledge than anybody. I could legit check anything better than anybody. I know this. I live this. I breathe this. I eat this. I'm a nerd for this. You understand what I'm saying? This ain't never been cool. Knowing what I know about sneakers ain't never been cool. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people do this for business. A lot of people do this to make money. I do this out of pure love. And sometimes out of pure pain. Because ain't nothing, ain't nothing worse than, you know, sometimes... Sometimes my stomach will hurt if I ain't got a shoe that I really want. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, that's, that's where that comes from. I guess that's my, my real quality is that I really, I'm really about shoes. It's not a game, it's not a joke. Could have went up to New York and I could have had competition with about 15 other stores on one street. Or I could come in to San Antonio and have competition with four or five people, four or five stores total. What we gotta realize in San Antonio is that it's not really a battle because there's so much space for all of us. We could all eat in our own sections. So why would I go do this in New York where I probably would make more money hand over fist but everything's increased so sometimes you have to maybe that might be the only thing that I developed as a plan was to you know do it somewhere where it was financially stable and you know the the market hasn't been so so destroyed in New York the market is pretty destroyed you don't need a store you can sell shoes out out your closet you can sell sneakers out your trunk you don't need a store you know, there's a store for every everybody who said they ever wanted to open up a store out there. So that's why I did it out here. Well, I actually do have shoes on consignment and my rates are 95.5. That's a pretty crazy rate. So if you got anything you want to consign, come through. I'll consign it for you. 95.5. I'm a man of my work. A lot of the times consignment is more or less used to fill up gaps and spaces. But like I said, I do this for real and, and I love this for real. So I was always told you don't do this unless you have a plug. So, you know, I can make 5% off of everybody else's stuff or, if I, or I could go get it myself. Now, one thing I don't have is I don't have a personalized contract. I don't have a contract with Nike. I don't have a contract with Adidas. I don't have a contract with Reebok, anything like that. The only reason why I do that is so that I'm free to get whatever I want to get. If I have a contract and I'm restricted to sell that item. So if you go to some stores, I don't know, maybe a store out here or something like that. Let's just say they have a contract with Nike, right? They got a contract with Nike. You're not gonna see too many Adidas in there, but when I opened up the, the doors, that was basically something that I used to my benefit. Well, they got a Nike contract, so I'm just gonna open up with nothing but Adidas. So, you know, you just gotta know what you're doing. You just gotta know the game. This is, it's not a joke. It's, it's, it's not for, it's not for the, the, the ill-hearted. This is not something that you just wanna jump into because you'll fall flat on your face. It took a lot. Like, there's been people that's been telling me for 15 years, bro, you need to have a store. And I laughed at them. And now that I have a store, it's time for another one.